Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go straight into the news. So Ubisoft is actually remaking um, Splinter Cell, the original game for current generation. Now, I do know for a fact that it's going to be the linear and they're just going to be focusing on, you know, sneaking around, you know, hiding in the shadows. So it's coming from the Ubisoft Toronto, which they're the guys that are behind UB, uh, Splinter Cell uh, Blacklist. So let's go ahead and cover this article real quick. And uh, yeah, so you can get back to doing whatever it is you're doing. Okay, so here we are at IGN. In an interview posted on Ubisoft's website, producer Matt West said, I think it's kind of kind of has to be a remake as opposed to a remaster. Yeah, we don't want remaster. Remaster is just that they put on this new coat of paint and released it. And we saw how well that worked out for you, Grand Theft Auto. That <laughs> the, the phone version of Grand Theft Auto has been remastered for consoles. Yeah, so it's, we all saw how well that worked out. Although we're still in the very earliest of stages development, what we're trying to do is make sure the spirit of the early games remain intact in all the ways that gave early Splinter Cell its identity. And for me, me and Splinter Cell go way back, as far back as the original Xbox. That's when I used to, you know, play the Splinter Cell game and I've always liked them. And um, the only one that I have not played was, I finished Double Agent. I did not play Blacklist. Maybe I will repurchase it, or should I say, purchase it for the first time and try it out but i was playing um double agent um just a while ago and then there was also another splinter cell game that i was playing too i don't know and that was i was only for the for the xbox 360 version of the game because they didn't release anything for the next gen console or at least not for the xbox one x as well as the um the playstation 4 but let me just double check here give me one second Okay, so I just had to double check before I gave the wrong information. So it looks like the last um, Splinter Cell was Black Blacklist, and that came out in 2013 for the Xbox 360 and P uh, PlayStation 3. Now, the ones that I played, I played this one, and I think I played uh, Pandora also. Chaos Theories, I played that. I don't remember playing this one, though, because that was for PC. PSP, which I did not have a PSP, but I did play Double Agent um, Conviction. I think that's why I was playing recently, but I have not played Blacklist. So maybe I need to go back and discover those. But I have to go back and finish uh, Blacklist first. I know I have, I started one of them, but I wasn't sure which one I started. With. And it was Blacklist. I played, I beat Chaos Theories and I beat um, Double Agent, but that was a long time ago. Look at the years, man. 2006. Like they released these two right next to each other but this one was for the PSP platform but yeah other than that it's like a four year cycle three year cycle so 2002 Splinter Cell was the original game so this is the one that they're going to be um, redeveloping or remade per se uh, anyway let's go on here it's safe to say that a lot of us on the team are stealth purists and we're behind the level of the seriousness when it comes to this kind of mechanics and those sorts of things we want to see in the game, says Chris IUT. I can't say that name. Splinter Cell's new creative director, and we're very, very aware of what makes a classic Splinter Cell what it is. And it's all about that stealth, baby. You don't want to get seen. You want to use your gun as minimal as possible. It's important for us to preserve the sense of master mastery by supporting players who obs observe the situation, make their plan, use their gadgets, and outsmart the enemy creatively to deal with challenges they are presented with. He explained, ideally, they end up coming out on the other side with no one having realized you were even there. That's the essence of Splinter Cell. And I hope they can create that same magic that Splinter Cell has because I love these kind of games because first of all it's not an open world game it's a linear game and yeah i'm all for it i'm sick of open world games far cry 6 i love you and i hate you but that's usually what they do is just make a lot of open world game when it comes to um to Ubisoft. The gameplay experience we're targeting is directly tied to what we want players to feel so 
to capture the essence back when we are all playing the original game, said Wes. It's unclear if anyone from the original Splinter Cell team is working on the remake, but technical producer Peter Hundrunos, 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 I can't say it, can't say names, I'm terrible with names, says that the series veterans are part of the new team. There are a lot of vets here, so we're going to have a really good mix of people who have worked on previous Splinter Cell games and new team members who are joining and bringing fresh energy and fresh ideas, he said. Uh, but it looks like this remake could just be the start of Ubisoft revised efforts on Splinter Cell with this remake. We're building the solid base for the future of Splinter Cell. And I really hope that they, they do this. And, and I truly believe that if this is successful, maybe they will consider to make you know another splinter cell game because i really did enjoy these games and i don't know why they stopped making them they should have um at least made one for the you know for the last generation which is xbox one x um especially now that we're heading over to the next next generation it's nice to see that companies are willing to kind of like go back in their catalog and look at certain games and then bring them out bring them to the next generations uh especially shout out to the ea unfortunately we all know ea and we hate ea but i like what their other studio is really doing um the fact that they're bringing back dead space and recreating it just like how the game used to be so that studio is doing a really well job you know besides all of ea's antics with the microtransaction and uh, loot boxes and all this other stuff that just goes on with that company um they still have certain um development team or certain you know certain developers that are still making decent games over there like it takes two it was a really great game from haze light and i enjoyed it i finished it yeah so i think that's enough i said enough i talked way too much so if you enjoyed the content make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will leave a link in the description if you want to go read it for yourself and uh, for me, definitely be uh, be looking out for this. And I really do hope that it's successful. So then we can have more Splinter Cell games for the next generation consoles. Yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know I've said it many times. If you're not doing it, do it.